Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, October 13th, 2022. Well, 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 the time has arrived. The wait is over, and perhaps the low range choppiness is over, I would expect things to ramp up from here. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Now, what in the world were you talking about, about wild volatility? Well, today begins the fourth quarter earnings season, and oh, there's tremendous speculation in earnings. Um, we've got vastly lowered estimates uh, in a hope that they can start hitting some of these targets to um, honestly manipulate prices in the market. But what's going to be really important is not so much whether or not they hit the top and bottom line um, on these reports. What's really going to be important is their conference call, their guidance looking forward, and whether or not they're going to commit to continue um, stock buybacks. So watch carefully for those results. That could set the tone. Now let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So first off, uh, yesterday was one, another one of those, well, um, get all excited in the morning, pump up the pre-market, and then the data came in, wasn't good, market came back down, and then we just spent the day chopping, waiting for today's data. So what do we got going on today? Well, this morning we're gonna hear from the CPI, and once again, we're trying to put lipstick on that pig and pump it up in the pre-market in wild speculation that maybe this time, this time that number will be good. And perhaps it will be, perhaps we will get a good number, I don't know. But I do think it's kind of funny that here we are again setting up the very same way and the question is going to be, will we follow through to the upside? Will that act, the numbers actually produce something good for us to buy? Or will it be just another disappointing pop and drop um, in the market as we can seem to be continuing that pattern a lot, a lot here lately. Now, as you can see, we still have that little bit of hope. We've held that higher low we held in here on those support levels. So there is still that bullish hope here in the market that we can get something going and we're certainly oversold in the short term. The question is, will we have enough energy to start breaking through some resistance levels to the upside if we can get going? Or will those bears find the inspiration again today and possibly push us back down. I would be very, very careful. Um, you know, one of the things that it's, it should be very important to every trader is to protect your capital. Not just rush in in wild speculation of a market and potential data. Let's wait and see what the institutions do. Are they really going to get committed to a buy side move? Or we just, um, you know, once again, um, trying to convince everybody to hurry up and jump before we actually have the data. Let's take a look at our technicals here for just a second. We haven't looked at those for a few days. Notice that our um, um, 200 day moving average crossed down through the 500. Pretty tough to make a bullish case for the market there. Our prices are still underneath the eight exponential moving average. All of our moving averages are continuing to move down and following that trend. If we take a look at our SPY, well, very much the same thing, except we came a whole lot closer in here um, on um, the SPY of causing some issues. Notice right in here um, at the close, we closed at a new low on the S&P 500. Just barely squeaked down there a new low. And now the question I know on everyone's mind, particularly those bulls, well, can this be the double bottom? Will this be the double bottom? Is this the buy side? Well, we're gonna have to wait and see um, if the data supports that or not. Watch that carefully in these resistance levels that you see in this chart. If we do get bullish and start rallying back up, you'll wanna pay pretty close attention to all of these resistance levels in the chart. So if we can get that bull moving, and that'd be a pretty big move if we moved up into there. So watch carefully for that possibility. 
if those bears come in well as you can see it really wouldn't be all that difficult to, to notice that we could have some uh, fresh new lows here in 2022 if those bears um, come back um, after the data this morning let's take a look at our QQQ now our NASDAQ um, has already made that new low here as the, as the uh, spy did new low on the year we kind of hung out there yesterday didn't really give much um, evidence that we were ready to get going to the upside keep a close eye on resistance right in here though if we can get those bulls inspired by something in the data maybe we can start moving up and testing some of these resistance levels in the chart so keep a close eye on that and we certainly are oversold in the short term so there'd be reason to to cons to say hey we just need some kind of relief rally and i i would certainly understand understand that um, so watch that closely if they can inspire and, and start breaking through some of those levels same time if those bears are inspired obviously it wouldn't be hard to see how we could set some fresh new lows here for 2022 in the queues our IWM had an interesting day yesterday IWM started to really weaken um, um, in the last couple of days we've put in some pretty big tails down here on these candles but we ended up holding at the end of the day and as you can see we have that little tiny hope of that little upside move we've got this little support in here trying to hold the IWM is the only index that has not made a new low for the year and if you take a look um, still in a downtrend so if those bulls can get inspired we'll look for an area maybe right in here to see if they can push up through that area and um, pop into that downtrend if the bears get inspired once again wouldn't be all that hard to see a retest of the 2022 lows so watch carefully for that let's take a look at our vix our vix yesterday just kind of hovered around up here we we pushed up we looked like we might have um, a little bit of ugliness right after that ppi number came out yesterday showing inflation is still hot and um popped up in there but not breaking through and that is a good sign because i think if we break up here that really is going to change the complexity of institutional computer algorithm excelling so watch that closely um, right now we continue to maintain this uptrend um, in the chart we have a few support levels in here to be watchful of if those bulls um, have their way today then we would look for this to pull back maybe test some trend test some support areas in the chart um, unless we really start breaking this down though we still may have some trouble on the horizon so watch that pretty close today our t2122 gives us probably the best hope of a little bit of upside move notice that yesterday we tried to claw our way up just a little bit but Boy, the selling right at the end of the day didn't help us out. And um, we are certainly in that position here in our T2122 that if we can find reason for bullishness, we've got plenty of upside to move if there is that reason for bullishness in any of this data. If the data isn't all that bullish, well, we know that we still have some downside opportunity before we kind of bottom out in here in T2122. So just be a little bit careful. I don't know what the market's going to do today. Just like yesterday, we could have we could have a big old pop and drop or um, maybe we get that follow through buying and actually get something going to the upside. Who knows? Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Well, let's do this really quick. Our T2108, not much change in it yesterday. 21% of the stocks holding above their 40 day. T2107, very much the same thing. Just kind of flat going nowhere. Um, everybody's wondering what comes next um, in the market and it's certainly showing up in those charts if we were to take a look um, here yesterday right at the end of the day we had a good volume spike coming in here on the diamonds but you'll notice that the SPY was a little bit light and QQQ just a little bit light on volume here yesterday and I think it's just that uncertainty as to what comes next is keeping folks maybe a little bit more committed to protecting their capital rather than rushing in in fact there are stories out there that cash supplies are are really going high as fund managers and mutual fund um, 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 
um, managers um, are putting more and more and more toward uh, money market accounts to protect capital rather than to, well, I guess to weather the, uh, or to ride out the volatility that's likely going to occur here. Um, in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today and what I've been talking about, what everyone knows is coming because, well, it's, this is the news of the day, really. Um, we've got a CPI number coming in here this morning and who knows what that CPI is going to be. Now, there is lots of speculation out there. Um, I've seen reports that oh, we're planning on it being higher. I've seen reports now it's gonna really start to fall. Well, we'll we'll wait and see. Uh, we had all of that kind of wild drama yesterday morning as well with the PPI. CPI, I think, is going to have or be more impactful of a number. So watch that close. And then we've got jobless claims. And this is one of those where good news is bad news and bad news is good news uh, for the market. If jobless claims come in strong, that would be um, that would be good news for the market. If we see those numbers really starting to push up, that would be good news for the market. If we see those numbers um, continuing to remain strong on the job side, folks getting jobs and those kind of things, and um, those numbers um, declining, that would be bad news uh, for the market today. So watch that close. Then we're gonna get our natural gas petroleum status numbers. We've got some bond auctions here, and that's something we have to pay attention attention to because bonds um, have very little change here um, since yesterday's um, uh, strong surge back up after that PPI number and we also saw our dollar increasing in value yesterday so not a good thing for the overall market now um, after these bond auctions we've got Treasury statement um, later on today and then the Fed balance sheet and as you can see we're not done with this week doggone it we're gonna come in tomorrow morning before the bell and we're gonna get retail sales numbers and that could be a little bit challenging tomorrow morning so watch carefully for that plan carefully as you're heading into tomorrow morning we got import export prices business inventories and consumer sentiment tomorrow and those fed talkers they just they got more to say than uh, it's phenomenal so um, they're out there yakking it up again tomorrow as well let's take a look at our earnings calendar now we're finally uh, um, over into fourth quarter earnings and our fourth quarter earnings are going to start ramping up now typically we start off relatively slow and today we've got that little bit of a slowness here, here in the market um, with just a few notables but these can really create a lot of price action moves so we should expect volatility to spike up again as the wild speculation around these earnings um, ramps up. Take a look at BlackRock. BlackRock um, reporting today so far um, just kind of uh, punt, uh, not really going anywhere. Uh, CMC reporting today. It looks like CMC um, little steel is trying to push here to the upside so watch that closely we have delta airlines reporting today okay, uh, looks like they're pumping up just a little bit right into their downtrend i don't know that that gets me all that inspired here with the downtrend and resistance in that chart but hey keep an eye on that we've got progressive um, insurance um whoops GR. Um, today, watch that carefully as that reports. Looks like we got a little price resistance, but we do have this higher low in here. So anything is possible. Watch carefully for that. TSM will be interesting today. Um, looks like we're getting a little bit of a pop here in that uh, our semiconductor area has been really under pressure with the new um, federal rules. Um, so watch that closely. We've got quite a little bit of resistance in that chart. We're trying to pop up here this morning. So watch that one close. And then we're going to have um, WBA Walgreens reporting. It looks like they're getting a nice bump here this morning with a good push to the upside. So trying to break that downtrend in here. So watch that. Any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity then to the upside. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that 
that quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave me that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Like they like to say on YouTube, it is the, um, it is the connection with the video. It is how people respond to the video that really makes a difference uh, for them to show this video to more folks. So thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you know, anything is possible today. You could look at a stock and have a great signal and then just bam, um, completely reverse and just turn into an ugly mess really fast. So uh, be very, very careful. Make sure you're following your personal rules. Make sure you understand the risk of every trade that you take. Do not ever blindly follow someone else's trade idea. First off, let's take a look at a couple things in here that I think are pretty darn important. First, the dollar. The dollar has been holding up really strong and we might, might, fingers crossed, we might be seeing a little opportunity setting up here of a lower high. Now, if we get a little bit of a pullback in the US dollar, we can expect commodity prices to move to the upside. As a result of that, yesterday I picked up a little bit of energy. Now, I picked up energy by picking up XLE. Now, um, energy could rally substantially if the dollar falls. And if you notice here, we've got this little, oh darn it thing, change the tool on me. Give me just a second here. Um, as you can see here, we've got this little downtrend break and we're holding this higher low in the chart. Now, I have to admit that this is a very steep rally. I wouldn't expect a rally like this to be maintained all that long that's too parabolic to the upside but we're holding in there on some support and that downtrend break and i think it was worth taking a shot at now this may require a little bit more rest or pullback consolidation in here and if we see the dollar go up then this may go to the downside. Now, the reason I picked XLE is because we are heading into earnings season and we're likely going to see a lot of hopping and popping around based on individual companies. So I went with a basket here. And I wanna also let you guys know that even though I picked this position up, I didn't pick up a big position in this trade. Um, just, just a little nibble in here to see whether or not um, that dollar is going to start to fall. Now, if the dollar starts to fall, I want you to also to be taking a look at some of these steel companies. Um, take a look at Cleveland Cliffs. Cleveland Cliffs, a really nice little pattern in here. Now, clearly it's not quite out of the woods here. Um, still a lot of danger in that chart, but this is a nice little rally up and nice little resting consolidation platform in here. And that possibility that we could rally up toward these resistance levels and downtrend if we can get a little bit of bullishness going. Take a look right in here. That's that 50 day moving average up there. So we still, we still have some work to do on that chart, but this is a nice little pattern to be paying attention to in the chart. And that opportunity that steel could move up considering the fact that the US dollar could start to fall. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at other steel companies, take a look at um, US Steel, US Steel trying to do the same thing. Take a look at like MT, MT working on that downtrend um, right in here, seeing if we can pop up through that area. So watch some of those stocks out there. There may be um, that opportunity for a little bit of move to the upside. And that CMC, as you can see, this is a steel company as well, um, reporting today, and it looks like that might be helping out here just a little bit this morning. So if we can get a little bit of activity in steel and get um, that dollar pulling back, there may be some opportunities. Other places, take a look at FCX. Now, copper is another thing that can have big dramatic moves if the dollar pulls back. So watch that closely. We're still in that downtrend. We're trying to hold this higher low 
there may be some opportunities here. SCCO might be another place to look on that copper side. Notice that we're pushing into fairly significant resistance levels, price resistance levels in the chart, but this higher low is possibly setting up for that upside move. And you can see in the pre-market here, we've got a little bit of a pump going on in that chart. And if you'll notice, this one is hanging right around that 50-day moving average for that rounded bottom breakout. So keep an eye there. You might also want to take a look at some aluminum. Take a look at Alcoa yesterday. Alcoa had a nice little pump up here on the day. Nice little higher low in here. Um, we still have resistance in that chart, so we've got some work to do. And please keep in mind that well, we still got some work here to do getting up through some of these moving averages. But it's nice to see some of those things perking up. Now, when I'm talking about all of these metals, you got to wonder, what in the world, Campbell? Aren't, aren't you going to mention gold and silver? Well, I am. Um, when you take a look at gold, gold's trying to hold this little bit of a higher low. And I talked about this the other day. Um, it is that possibility that we could be trying to form a little bit of a head and shoulders type pattern in here with a really weird neckline um, in that chart. But keep an eye on this. We are trying to break and hold here let me clean that up a little bit we are trying to break and hold that downtrend area here that price support in the chart so if the dollar falls there may be that opportunity for GLD to push on through to the upside and I'm gonna say the same on silver I would be watching that one close as that downtrend we're trying to hold it as support there may be some opportunities there in silver as well so I know I spent all morning talking about uh, metals um, you might also want to look at some of the defensive sector stocks that have been perking up. You know, PepsiCo had good earnings. They're following through on that, breaking this downtrend, maybe start picking up here. We've seen KHC catching upgrades um, here in the market. It's starting to move up. So watch some of those defensive sector dividend paying stocks in a difficult market and when we're, where we might see earnings struggle a little bit. Stocks that pay these nice fat dividends might be the place where um, institutions and things park some money to protect themselves um, and weather um, um, you know, the, that potential rough earning season. So watch carefully. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have an awesome day. Wish you all the best.